Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So it's been a little bit since I put out an update video and I thought I'd give a real quick one. I've got a couple viewer gifts uh, that I want to share and uh, new shop tools and that sort of thing. Uh, I'll also want to do an update on the Burke Mill, but I think I'm just going to do that on a separate video. There's, that's mostly what uh, I've been concentrating on when I snatch a few minutes uh, here and there in the shop. So uh, let me take you over to the bench and uh, well first let me show you a new uh, shop acquisition here. And, um, and then we'll go over to the bench and we'll look at uh, some uh, really nice viewer gifts. So I'll catch you in just a second. Without giving too much away about um, what I've been doing with the, the mill in this video, um, I discovered that the spindle bearing uh, cups were bad. They were sort of pitted and uh, needed to get new bearings for the spindle. And of course, you know, there's one pressed on here and I had no way of pressing it off. Uh, but I happened to get one of those Harbor Freight 25% uh, uh, off um, coupons. And so I went and, and got, uh, got their little 20 ton uh, um, press. I think this will work for me. It pressed it right off. Uh, I've used it on a couple of other things since then. So I think this is a great little addition to uh, the shop. I don't think this is where it's going to live, but this is where it's at for now. All right, so let's go over to the uh, bench and let's uh, take a look at some of the stuff that uh, some viewers have sent that uh, uh, I'm pretty excited about and some new tooling that I bought. So I'll catch you in a, just a second. Okay, I was uh, contacted by Chris Anderson from Old Iron Shop. Said, hey, uh, Joe, I got a couple of uh, Brown & Sharp number no. 9 uh, end mill holders. Uh, if, uh, if, you, if you want them, let me know and I'll sell them to you. So I went ahead and bought them from them. I got a number, I got a 3 8 uh, end mill holder, Brown & Sharp number no. 9 and a three-quarter brown and sharp uh, end mill holder number nine. So uh, Chris, uh, thanks for letting me know that you had those and, uh, and uh, uh, letting me buy them from you. All right, so uh, that's the, all of the tooling. So uh, now I wanna go over and um, uh, some uh, viewer gifts. So be right back. So some of you may follow or may not follow my uh, Linux CNC uh, for the home hobbyist series. Obviously, the um, episodes don't come out near as fast as anybody wants, and I don't give them out there near as fast as I would like to, um, just for the lack of time. But anyway, uh, um, Lance and Patrick uh, from Active Adam uh, saw one of my uh, videos, and they said, hey, we got something we'd like to send you. So it's in this box, so let me show you. So I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Linux, but this is... Uh, this is the Linux mascot, and he's almost too big to fit in there. He's about six inches tall or so, six, seven inches tall. This official uh, Linux mascot. So they sent me a large one, and they sent me a small one. So that's just cool as can be. Uh, Lance, Patrick, thank you so much, guys. Um, I will uh, take these probably in the house where they won't uh, get too dirty and, and set, them, uh, set them with my uh, machines in there. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I, I'm sort of a big open source Linux advocate. Uh, I try to use it in every chance I get. So in addition to the um, mascot penguins, they sent me some uh, channel stickers. So hey guys, thanks. They sent me uh, two of each. That's awesome. I'm going to put these with my other stickers. I've got to set up a, a sticker board. I've kind of got an idea for one, but like everything else, I just haven't had time. So guys, thanks for the stickers. Thanks for watching the channel and supporting me. I know that I don't uh, uh, get stuff out as, as, as active as a lot of uh, other folks. And um, But you know, I have a I have a full-time job and a bunch of other stuff going on. This is just my hobby. So sometimes I get more time than others. But anyway, thanks for the stickers, guys. Uh, I, I appreciate it. So I'm going to put those with the other ones. So, All right. So um, let me get the other uh, stuff out here and show you what was sent and I'll bring you right back in. If you guys remember a while back when I'd done, uh, I think I'd done another shop update, uh, a man by the name of Clark um, from, I think he's from North Carolina if I remember right. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, yeah he is, he's from North Carolina, uh, Mr. Clark Wilson. He contacted me and said, hey, he says, um, um, I'll, I'll make a uh, uh, a guard for you and if you recall he he made made a, a, a the guard that goes on the left hand side of the machine for me well Clark recently uh, contacted me and says hey he says uh, 
I've got uh, some woodruff cutters and some slitting saws and some small drills that I'm going to send you. He says, uh, uh, my guy who, uh, who uh, scraps metal, uh, he had them and I uh, got it all for scrap, so I'm going to send it to you. So here you see, uh, he sent me uh, several uh, or a, a various little selection here of woodruff cutters and several slitting saws, uh, different pitches, different thicknesses, uh, and a whole pile of small um, drill bits. So, Clark, thank you so much, man. That was uh, that was very kind of you, and uh, I will definitely put them to use. I'll put this with my other tooling, and and uh, I, I I appreciate the support. So let me. Uh, let me uh, get set up over here and then we'll close out and, and uh, we'll go from there. So I know I've been out of pocket uh, quite a bit here lately. I've just been busy, but I have been getting out to the shop and doing some stuff with the mill. Stripping, degreasing, painting, uh, that sort of stuff, ordering some parts. Uh, but I'll give you, a, a, a hopefully uh, here soon, I'll give you a, another update on that so you know where we're at. Um, spent a week uh, with my wife. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll see that we've done a lot of hiking and stuff like that. Had a great time. Some uh, got to see some beautiful views, uh, some pretty cool things uh, in central and eastern Kentucky in the Appalachia area uh, around Cumberland Gap and uh, 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 the Red River Gorge and stuff. So if you if you follow me on Instagram, take a look. You'll I, you know hopefully I posted some pictures that you know you find interesting. Uh, so I got another little uh, trip scheduled here soon. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna keep where I'm going under wraps, and then when I get back, hopefully I'll have some video. I'm really excited about it. I'm uh, I'm gonna meet a fellow YouTuber uh, who I uh, respect and admire a lot. I, this uh, uh, pretty cool pretty cool uh, person. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing some of the sites that are coming up and about there. So uh, I'll definitely uh, try to. Uh, get some video of that and, and and share that with you when i get back so that'd be uh, uh second week of october so i'll probably be mid-october uh before i actually get that video up so uh other than that you know guys i um uh don't get the videos out as often as i'd like to but uh like i said I, you know i have a full-time job and i got a bunch of other responsibilities too and my shop is my hobby i know uh uh, I don't get an, near enough time out here as I'd like, but uh, when I do get out a few minutes here and a few minutes there, I tell you what, it is refreshing as the day is long. So, uh, hey, other than that, uh, if you find these videos helpful or entertaining or useful, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, give me a thumbs up if you want, and if you think they're horrible, give me a thumbs down. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I have thick skin. So, hey, other than that, have a blessed day.